everyone! I am here today with my Hong Kong haul. My husband and I just returned from almost two weeks in Hong Kong and we picked up a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna start off with the clothing items that I purchased. The majority of the clothing items, except for one thing, was actually purchased from Uniqlo, which is one of my favorite stores. So the first things I'm gonna show you are pants, and these are essentially dress pants. I picked up three pairs that are exactly the same in black, navy blue, and this light gray color. These are for work. I've been looking for a pair of more, I guess, loose-fitting dress pants. Most of my dress pants at the moment are pencil and skinny. What's special about these dress pants is that they are on the slightly more casual side. They're kind of like dress pants on the bottom, but they have an elastic waistband, which makes them extremely comfortable. Also for work, I picked up two dress shirts. These are similar in style, but they are slightly different. The first one is in navy blue, and I really love how slinky the material is. I love the look of dress shirts, but I'm not really good with uh, starchy, kind of stiff dress shirts. I find them a little on the uncomfortable side. This one here just has a regular button at the top so it does up like right in the center. Whereas this one here which is black with little white polka dots is part of their um, designer collaboration series. I'm gonna butcher this name so I'm just gonna do a close-up but they collaborated with this designer to create this piece. It's essentially the exact same shirt as the navy blue one, but the collar is a little smaller and the button also does up off center. And the fastener for the button is like this little eyelet that sticks out rather than being cut into the shirt. The next two items that I picked up for work are these cardigans. They look almost exactly the same on camera, but this one here is black and this one is a dark, dark navy blue. I don't have a navy blue cardigan because I decluttered them all. I love navy blue but the cardigans that I had in my collection I never reached for partly because of the cut. So these cardigans are very basic but they are merino wool and they are very soft and quite slinky as well. I'm planning to put a lot of options for layering so I will be integrating these two cardigans into my next office capsule and I will be replacing my old black cardigan with this new merino wool one because my old black cardigan got a ton of use in my previous office capsules and I think it's time to retire that one and replace it with something that looks a little more fresh. The last item that I got that is office appropriate is this sweater vest. I've been wanting to add a few pops of color into my wardrobe. I think mustard yellow is quite versatile. I can wear it with black, I can wear it with navy, I can wear it with gray, I can wear it with denim, and I thought that this shade of mustard yellow in particular looked decent with my skin tone. I picked up one piece for casual wear and I've already worn this a few times in Hong Kong because it was a little bit colder than I anticipated. It's a boxy type sweatshirt Shirt, but it still drapes really nicely. It's not too long or too cropped and it has pockets in the front. I've been trying to spruce up my collection of loungewear and sleepwear because I spend so much time at home. This is just a pair of lounge pants. They're basically harem type pants and they do have an elastic at the ankle. They have both an elastic and a drawstring at the waist and these are so comfortable for just lounging around in and they're great for short trips outside like if you're running errands or if you want to go grab a bite to eat. They're just so comfortable and easy. I bought four graphic tees that I'm intending to use as sleepwear and loungewear. They all feature artwork from a London-based designer named James Ward, and these characters are part of the Jimbo Bart series. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. I've never heard of it before, but I loved how cute and cheeky the designs were. So this one I wore so much when I was in Hong Kong. Again, I wore it as sleepwear and loungewear in the hotel, but I also wore it when we headed down for a light breakfast before changing for the rest of the day. So this one here just says I love cheese and bicycles and it features a squirrel on a bicycle with cheese in his bicycle basket. So cute. This next one here has a bear with a mask and this is one of his superheroes I suppose and this one just says cheese defender. This next one has some sort of animal, I want to say raccoon but it's not a raccoon. 
maybe um what is this animal i don't know it'll come to me but i can't a badger but the shirt says i love biscuits and beets and it's just got this animal with a boom box just love this and then finally the last one i picked up has this cat on it and it says these cookies are the cat's pajamas on the back of each t-shirt there's just this little design so the cat's pajamas one has this little chocolate chip cookie the two t-shirts that are cheese themed have this wedge of Swiss cheese and then finally the beets and biscuits one has these little music notes so I just thought these t-shirts were so cute and they're so soft and comfortable to lounge around and to sleep in so I was in the market for some new bras so I picked up four of them from Uniqlo these first two are the exact same design. I got one in nude and one in black. Now Uniqlo doesn't go by the traditional bra sizing, like 34B and whatnot. Instead, they just go by small, medium, large. So I bought this bra in size small. This bra has like the typical fastener at the back. There's a couple of um, eyes and hooks and then the strap is adjustable. I can't remember what this version is called. I think it may be called the light, but I will try to look it up on the website and put it in the down bar. Here is the other design that I picked up. This is again in size small and I got a very light blush pink one and also a black one. So this bra is a little bit different because it has wider straps, but it has no opening in the back or in the front. This is basically a slip on bra similar to how you would put on a sports bra and the straps are not adjustable. I like this style because it doesn't have an underwire but it still gives you a little bit of a push-up effect. I actually do have a little bit of cleavage with this bra which I usually do not have. I picked up a whopping three jackets. The first one is in a classic bomber jacket style and this is going to be replacing a thin thin bomber style coat that I have in my collection that I don't really wear that often. This is another designer collaboration and this is by the designer Corrine Reutfeld. I also picked up this really beautiful style statement jacket. I love this so much. I like that it's um, a little bit loose. It is collarless, so I typically would wear this with a scarf. So I had in mind that I wanted a statement jacket, and I wanted it either in this color exactly or in the mustard yellow color that I showed before. And I stumbled upon this one when I was shopping in Uniqlo, and I fell in love with it. My husband also really liked it. The other coat that I picked up is this faux fur piece. And this is, again, a collaboration with Corrine Reutfeld. I love this jacket so much. An amazing deal. And again, I've worn this once in Hong Kong already because it felt that cold. I don't have any black faux fur. I wanted a black faux fur vest, but this is just as lovely. The only other clothing item I picked up was this scarf from Giordano. And this has basically a cream and charcoal slash navy color on one side. And then the other side has this really masculine plaid. So here is what it looks like with the cream and navy slash charcoal side. And then the plaid side just looks like this. My husband and I picked up a whole bunch of stuff for the home. This here is a new bath mat. It is brown and white and it's basically similar to a cowhide type pattern. It's really, really soft and I like it because it's thin. So we can just throw it in the washing machine. I fell in love with this lion's head magnetic towel holder. And this was essentially exactly what I was looking for because we've started using delicates bags for our laundry. So this looks like an old school door knocker that you might find in Europe, but this is plastic, so it's really lightweight. What we're gonna do is stick this on our washer or dryer, and then we're gonna put the delicates bags through this little ring here. So when we have laundry that needs to go in the delicates bags, we can just pull one out. We have four of them, put our stuff in there, and then put it in the laundry basket. So prior to going to Hong Kong, I was looking for some way to hang our delicates bags and have them within easy reach, and this fit the bill perfectly. So I'm so happy I found this. My husband bought this lunch bowl for his salad and I wish I had picked one up now because I'm kind of loving it. So this is basically a BPA free acrylic lunch bowl and it comes with this fork that just kind of sticks on the top there and then it also has a little container inside where you can put your dressing or sauce. So the next two things I bought were both ladles. So this one here is called the Mama Nessie Colander Spoon, and it's basically a ladle shaped like a brontosaurus. So 
cute. It has little feet so you can rest it on the countertop, but I liked this one because it's a colander as well. We eat a lot of ravioli and tortellini, and I like to scoop it out and put it in the sauce. I also picked up this small ladle, and the reason I liked this one is because it was designed in Japan. So I loved the simplicity of the design. Again, it has a flat bottom so you can rest it on your countertop. It also comes with a little plate so you can sit this on its matching plate. The last item I picked up from Homeless are these retro tech coasters. So there's an old-fashioned typewriter, a boombox, a cassette tape, an old TV, a retro telephone with the rotary dial, there's one of those old floppy disks, there's a really old computer, I think it might be a Mac, and a Polaroid camera. We came across this other home store when we were in Hong Kong, but this one featured all products from Daiso. So Daiso is the Japanese version of a dollar store, but they have really nice and really cute things. There was quite a bit of a market up at this Daiso. So instead of paying around a dollar per item, we ended up paying around two dollars per item. But I really liked the things that I bought, so I don't mind it too much. And we're not going to be going back to Japan until next year, so I didn't want to wait. So the first item is something super simple. It's just basically a juicer. I've been looking for something like this, but I haven't found quite the right one. So I really liked the way this looked, and I also liked the price point. I picked up four little bowls. Three of them are shaped like little flowers, and they are this baby pink color. So I plan to use this for sauces and such, soy sauce for sushi, hot sauce, and the like. I also picked up this little egg-shaped cup, and this is like a Japanese stoneware type feel to it. There was only one, otherwise I would have probably picked up two of each. But even though it's a little single, my dishes are all mismatched anyway. I just like to pick up things that I love. Lastly, from that same store with all Daiso products, I picked up some more um, Lucky Money envelopes. The two packets have little bunnies on them, and then the other packet is a beautiful scene of Mount Fuji. I picked up four sets of stickers, and I will be sharing this with my girlfriend who loves this character. Uh, Ru, what's his name? She loves this bear character. We went to the burrito counter in Lane Crawford, and I picked up a fragrance. I wasn't planning to buy a fragrance because I still have a lot in my collection, but I love the burrito scents. And this one just spoke to me. This is Flower Head, and it's a beautiful scent. It's definitely a floral scent, but it is so lovely. It's not like anything I've smelled before. After I decided to purchase this when my sales associate was processing the transaction, I kind of sprayed this scent all over myself, and then for the rest of the day, I was just so happy with the way I smelled. This is my second burrito fragrance. I also have a Mojave Ghost, which is lovely as well. The reason we went to the burrito counter besides my husband wanting to pick up a fragrance is because I wanted to buy another hair perfume. I usually just use hair perfume on second day hair, but if I'm going out at night, I'll just put in a few spritzes. So burrito makes three different scents of hair perfume. They make gypsy water, which I already have. They also make blanche, and then this one, which I picked up, which is Bald Afrique. The sales associate was telling us that this is one of Barreto's most popular scents in Europe and it smells wonderful. I don't know the notes off the top of my head, but I will put all of that information down below. My husband also picked up a scent and I can't remember the one he picked up. All of Barreto's scents are unisex and they are cruelty free. They are on the more expensive side, but I really love them. I think the quality is fantastic. Finally, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I was trying on a whole bunch of sunglasses. I ended up picking up two pairs. The first pair is by Mew. Mew Mew. So I needed some aviators, but as I was trying on aviators in the many sunglass stores that we went to, I found that they didn't really look good on me. None of them looked good on me, except um, this pair, which I ended up picking up. The Mew Mew sunglasses case is lovely. It's a velvet material, and it's in this light pink color. And then inside, they give you a sunglasses pouch as well, which is really nice. So here are the aviators that I decided on. They have a pink cast to them, and I love them. So here is what they look like. They fit my face really nicely, whereas other aviators tend to really fall forward a little bit. I also like that they don't have the bar on the top. I know classic aviators do have that, but I just found having the bar didn't really look nice on my face shape. So I like that these just have the little nose bridge instead, and I love how 
thin the arms are. The last thing I love about these is how huge they are. So you guys may know that I love my sunglasses nice and oversized. And these are probably the largest aviators that I tried on. The last item that I picked up, also a pair of sunglasses, is by the brand Gentle Monster, which is a Korean brand. There were a few designs that I really liked. Same with the Miu Miu, lots of designs that I really liked. The Gentle Monster sunglasses come in this leather-like pouch. I wish it was a hard case because that gives me a little more comfort knowing that my sunglasses are well protected. So here are the pair that I chose. They basically have a tortoise frame and they are, again, very oversized. A little bit of a cat eye going on here. And I love, again, how skinny the arms are. And I like that the arms are right at the top instead of in the middle, like a lot of sunglasses are. Quite bug-like, but I just love the style in sunglasses. So that is finally it for my Hong Kong haul. When I laid out all my things, I thought I had purchased more, but now talking through them all, I did buy a lot. I'm really, really happy with the stuff that I picked up though, and I will be decluttering a bunch of stuff to make room for my new stuff. I haven't been happy with my wardrobe, as you guys may know, so these pieces will be replacements for a lot of pieces that I will be decluttering. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you real soon. Please take care, and bye for now.